I think one wonderful thing about making visual art isn't just how lateral it is, but it's that you can articulate what you're thinking and feeling, and it's not an equation. It's not put into words. It's not like it's just not linear at all. So you just get to you just get to listen and do the thing and. I don't know, it's, it's, it's the language I know best. What I've been doing with all of these pieces, all of these old watercolors, is, is ripping them and putting them back together again. Something about a thread that's kind of like drawing. And so it's like with a thread I can draw these pieces back together again. And, this, and, and there's, there's something going on for me, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but there's something about repair happening in these. A lot of things can't actually be fixed, but something something new happens, and I'm interested in that in that new thing that happens. For me, my experience of making things is that it's really all about listening, and so I'm reaction. I think is a kind of listening. So I'm reacting to the painting that's already here. And so I look at it and I respond to it with this thread. So it's kind of like a conversation between the thread and the paint. Last week I went to the Bush Plain Museum. See <laughs> this. So funny as it is, like I'm thinking about ice and then I, I'm thinking about a story the person at the Bush Plain Museum told about somebody crashing through the ice and living and then, it, and then I'm thinking about the swans and somehow in this beautiful, non-linear way, all of my experience is just happening in all this stitching. It's, it's a, I don't know, it's kind, of, it's kind of lovely. It's a way of being really, really present. The thing I really love about these pieces right now, about making them, is they're really an invitation to accident. Well, it's an interesting thing, you, always, you also have to figure out when something is done. <laughs> Most of the time it's really obvious. That's a lie. <laughs> it can be obvious. You can know it, but again, you have to kind of listen to the piece.